How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we are going to continue building our farm from scratch by starting out and cutting some more wood. Well, not exactly cutting the wood. I did that last night. I know I said in yesterday's video that we were actually going to go ahead and kind of sleep a little bit, relax. It was a tough day, but I got a phone call, and the gentleman that has the lawnmower that he was going to let us lease... He said he's actually got one for sale, too. We get to pick which one we want. One that actually mows the grass or one that mulches. I don't have a good way of being able to pick up the grass to do anything with it right now. So I think we might actually just buy the mulcher. Um, but first thing we got to do is head over and go check out the truck. Yeah, I was uh, pretty busy yesterday evening. We uh, cut down about six trees and uh, I got most of them loaded up between last night and today. Now, this isn't six trees worth of logs here because I did leave a few of them on the ground because I, um, I, I'm I starting to wonder if I should actually leave some of them, the bigger logs, in longer pieces so I can make a little bit more money on it. So what I'm going to do is take this over and you know what? I'll just tell you in the truck. I found a whole bunch of these barrels while I was fishing for dinner yesterday and I decided that I was going to go ahead and mark my path exactly how I want to get in and out of my property back over to the main road and you, you can't see them right now but but they're down there and I went ahead and cleared out a bunch of the bushes y'all I was extremely busy yesterday in preparation to be able to have this mower because I didn't realize I was going to own it I just thought I was going to be leasing it for the day and I didn't want to get it for two days so We've got a pretty good path. Let me show you. So here is the first one right here. And all I got to do is just keep looking for these blue barrels. And that's going to lead me exactly where I need to go. And I've got it cleared out pretty good too. So you can see the next one. It's going to be right over here. Yep. Yep. Easy breezy now to get in and out of here. Um, if only I remembered where the next one was. I found it. So I've got to take it pretty easy because this is a really, really heavy load here. We're going to be zigging back and forth, zigzagging back and forth between all these trees. But I think I think I remember exactly where all of the barrels are located at. Um, we're going to head over to the sawmill and sell all this lumber off. And then we are going to be able to afford our uh, first piece of equipment like bigger piece of equipment like a lawnmower and i'm pretty sure the gentleman said that he even had a um a weed eater that i could use as well so we're gonna try and pick that up and then we'll be uh good to go so let's head on over to the sawmill and see exactly how much we can make off all of these logs here all right here we are let's go ahead and get this unloaded You'd think that I would learn from yesterday. So, had to move everything back over to the other spot again. 25% more. And we got about $7,500 for all of those logs. Which means we have about $9,500 now to be able to buy this lawnmower. Let's go check it out. Y'all, as you can see, I've got an option between two different ones over here. Let's go take a look at them. So the old man said that he was trying to get the mulching function to work, and it it's just not working today. So both of these are going to be mowing. As you can see right here, it's going to give me some windrows. I'll figure out what to do with it later. I can get regular wheels on a black seat, or I can get some tracks and a white seat. And he said that if I get this one here... He'll actually throw in the trailer and the weed eater all for $8,500. So that's going to leave me about $1,000, but I think it's what we're going to do. All right, we've got it started. Let's go ahead and put this thing on the trailer here. Real careful, real careful, careful. Oh, all right, we are there. 
So I was able to make it fit up on here. We got the weed eater as well. And we were able to hook up our other trailer here to the back. Let's go cut some grass. All right, let's see what this thing will do. Whoa! Well, I'm glad I finally got that thing figured out. It's not doing that bad of a job at all. I mean, that's going to be really easy for me to follow. All right, let's hope I can find all these barrels. This is going to turn out really, really nice. So I got to go around here. And then I see the next one down over there. All right, just a little bit more here up to where I've got all of the logs already going. I think what I'm gonna do is make a little bit of a loop here. That way I can uh, have some place to kind of turn around here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, swing around. Yeah, something about like this. All right, I can see the logs right there. We're gonna go ahead and loop around here like this and meet back up with this hey look at that well you know what this doesn't look half bad i think i'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a pass going the other direction all the way back down to the truck and then i'll put this thing back on the trailer and come up here and uh and clean up this area a little bit Oh, this road looks pretty good. I mean, not really a road, but this is definitely going to help me be able to find my way a lot easier so I'm not getting lost out here in the woods because I'm not going to say I didn't get lost last night, but uh, it took quite a while to find my way back to the house. You know, and I'm going to have to figure out what to do with all these blue barrels. I mean, they were very, very helpful last night getting uh, everything set out here, but I don't really know of what purpose they're going to serve after this. I mean, I guess I could store them and that way whenever we go to like new places, I can kind of do the same thing. Scout out a route. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to need to move a little bit of dirt. So I got a lot more of the area cleaned out here. Got a lot of mowing done. Did a little bit of weed eating. This thing is actually a beast right there. Did really, really well. Um, but the um, the camera on the tripod, it, it ran out of battery. So the only thing I've got now is the body mount camera. So and probably going to be just about the end of what we're going to be able to record for today. I've got to get some better batteries. And I don't know exactly where or how I'm going to get them. But I've still got quite a bit of time left here in the day. I'm going to keep on mowing all the way around here. And um, I'm going to save the battery on this. We'll come back at the end. I'll show you guys exactly where we're at and all this. This thing is pretty much running on fumes right now. But we went ahead and got a really big area knocked out today. Did a little bit of moving around some of the logs also. It, it, it struggled a little bit. But I kind of moved. Um... So the next plan here is going to be to start filling a lot more of these trees. Try and uh, keep them in line here with this, you know, just back and forth, back and forth. I think this is going to be the end. I got, I got the message here that the battery is getting ready to die on this one too. So I'm going to try and figure out how to charge these batteries, but it might be a couple days. This might look a little bit different next time I see you all. That's going to be it for today. Enjoy the video. Go and give it a thumbs up if you would. 
you want to stay up to date on my future videos here on this series, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.